Welcome back for some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, and in today's video we are going to try and do a smart rifle run similar to my video that we did with the wave cooker. We're going to take as many smart rifle upgrades as possible. Let's start with the tinker. tinker. We get a little bit of extra experience, plus the warthog is not a bad weapon to be running around with. I'm on hazard three. I was going to push this up onto the hollow bow as well, but I just don't trust this weapon at all. It might be worse than the wave cooker, maybe. Uh, reload. So yeah, it's not going to be an optimized run where we're going heavy onto anything else. Keep that in mind. We don't want this warthog to get uh, overclocked if we can avoid it because it will absolutely steal the steal the show, right? It it will take everything away. Um, we'll go move speed so we can get around a little bit better. I need more gold. We need that to be a goal of ours because if we don't get any gold, we're going to have a really hard time getting the smart rifle. We need to be able to roll. There's some loot bugs. You shouldn't need precious Not going to waste time on that. I, I've almost got, actually, I've almost got all of the meta progress unlocked again. There we go. Get us to 30 before we fully, uh, before we get a new gun. Crit damage, probably not going to be ideal on this run. Fire rate's super important. Oh, man. This gun's good, but it's really, really difficult to use. Oh, look at that. So, locks onto target and unleashes homing bullets. Target's closest enemy. I know that it can get electric. Also, here, let's put the damage numbers on. I, I had them turned off because I was doing the four electric uh, weapon challenge. This can get electric also, this gun can go electric. I'm tempted to not take it. Um, it just kind of complicates things in some ways, but it is a better upgrade. So I'm, I don't know, we might take the electric. I'm actually gonna take the fire rate. I, I did a little messing around with this on my stream. So I have a bit of an idea of how this works. Fire rate's super important for this gun. I'm not gonna take the kinetic damage. We're gonna take this. I haven't fully decided exactly how I want to go with this. It might not even offer us electric. I think it's not a guarantee. What I do know is the unstable overclock removes 50% fire rate. And that's not good. Uh, reload speed. Actually, let's have a look at the stats. 7.67 on the fire rate. I want to, like, double that if I can. And then the reload speed, of course, we want to get that lower. Probably down to about 1%. I really don't know if this is going to be able to beat the uh, beat Hazard 3 as a main. Just a really, really slow and painful weapon. So there's the electric. Right? There's the electric, but I'm tempted to go clip size. I'm very tempted to go clip size. Because if I go electric, then I'm going to feel like I need to take other electric weapons with it. And clip size could be really good at taking... Oh, man. I don't take electric. Everybody's going to say you should take electric. <laughs> I can hear the comments now. I really want to go clip size. You know what? We'll take it. Similar to the wave cooker, I don't think there is like a... Hey, you have to take this build with this to make it work. Um, We're going to try it like this. Increase that clip size. We'll shoot more bullets. We have to go over here. Now, what I'm hoping for... I went for that experience. What I'm hoping for is that we can manage to get our hands on the artifact that actually removes move speed and gives you more fire rate. This is one gun that you can actually benefit... No, we don't want to actually kill him yet. want to make sure it was cleared. And so this gun will benefit big time from that. It, it kind of uh, it, it negates the uh, the downside to our unstable overclock that we get. The 
Yeah, we could go kinetic. The fire rate. Ooh. Now we better take this. Give it a little bit of juice. Or else we're going to really pay the price later on. There we go. And if you want to see more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We play a ton of this game and make a lot of really fun videos, lots of runs, different, different types of runs. Okay. Um, we're going to take reload speed. I probably won't take any more outright damage buffs for it uh like like i did there with the kinetic unless it's the only choice because i think that it's going to be super important that we get the, the reload and the fire rate up like more important than anything uh, okay damage feels bad to pass up a legendary but it's what it is We keep dragging this out. We can probably push it a little bit further, but actually, let's grab this. I don't want him to die, and then I don't get it. We want to make sure we get our artifact, because there is actually one for once that I really want for a build. This is fine. Take that. Good chance. Don't really care about this weapon. We'll take the PGL, because it's garbage. It's probably, it's probably going to get a featured video as well. It could be it could be worse than this gun. Potentially. Okay, we're gonna take reload speed on mediums. All the weapons are mediums, that's beautiful. Gather up your beard and get onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. You made short work of stage one. Easy first floor. I think we're gonna see around the third or fourth floor here. It's gonna start to fall off. Definitely fire rate. You don't see these every day. A little kinetic damage. This is the smart pick. Next. Oh yeah, we'll take that. Feels like a brand new gun. <laughs> Here's that electrical damage again. The problem is I have kinetic on everything. So I'm not gonna take it. Now I could skip. But this is fire rate. You know what? I I'm actually going to take this. I'm not gonna skip it because those stats are important. Everything. That I might be making some bad calls here, but uh, Bingo. I don't think anybody's a professional smart rifle player. Mm, <laughs> I don't think anybody is. Um, ooh, pick up radius could be nice. Damage on all weapons. Well, uh, let's take this. Cheaper, save a little gold. This rare stuff. You know don't miner. check the stats. 12.5 on that fire rate. Now let's see if we're dumping dumping the bullets out of this thing quick yet. I'm kind of glad I didn't go electrical. I think we can just really, really lean heavily in on the kinetic and it's going to be just fine. But I'm going to be honest, most of my favorite weapons are just straight up kinetic damage anyway. That is feeling a little bit better. Reload speed is what? Yeah, I think I got now I gotta get the reload speed down even more. Damage. All right, let's go get that supply pod right now. Let's go pick it up. No messing around. We're going to go get it because we want to uh, get that fire rate. The Warthog is just so good. Ooh, we'll take the luck. I'm not going to get the one that I want, am I? We'll take this, though. Stand still, you get fire rate and reload speed. Okay. We'll take that. 
XP gain. I've only got a couple more hits. I gotta be careful here that I don't take too much damage, guys. Put it on the PGL. I don't want that warthog getting plasma or anything like that. I would just salvage it if it if I if it ends up happening. Because it's it's probably stronger than this gun. As a level three weapon, it's probably better than this smart rifle at level twenty. Okay. Good health. I see a magnet. The nice thing about this gun is it does have good range. It, like, it does does fire pretty decent over walls and stuff. Um, yeah, no, we don't need that. Projectile damage. That move speed would be nice, but we're going here. Damage. Ooh, legendary reload. That's huge. Now, I don't want any of these. Of course. They're the only weapons available in the game right now. Okay, we're going to take this. We'll take the turret. Unleveled up, it's not that strong. That's my reasoning for that. I think if I took the stubby or the fences or the breach cutter, they would end up doing a lot of work for us. Great chance. Okay. Reload speed. Yeah, I'm more than okay that I didn't take electric. In some ways, I think that people really massively overrate the effects. That's just my opinion. Hey, Tiago! I forgot to turn off my alerts. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's oh he's he's gonna die nothing I can do oh yeah we'll take this kinetic damage we still haven't gotten everything that we want to get here but right now this is feeling not bad Uh, yep. I've been dreaming of something but here we go. Like I do not like this unstable overclock. I will say that. I'm not a fan. You get a lot of damage, and you lose a ton of fire rate on a gun that already struggles with its fire rate. But we're taking it. Because we can do this. I can use this. I'm actually going to take this, too, because I'm really hoping Hell for that, yeah. um, that artifact. That can maybe offset it a bit. I'll look at the stats again. You know what? That's not terrible. It didn't crush us as far as fire rate goes. But I am curious to see how this is going to finish and what people's opinions are going to be of this run. Um, because you... Like, just running through here, it does not feel like it's really running the show here. I gotta get the reload speed about even, I gotta, I think even twice as fast. Maybe it's the fire rate. I think in the end, it's just really not a strong gun.
Reload. Just the upgrade I was looking for. Now we could go damage. But I think I should go fire rate. Tough though. Nah, we'll take the damage one. We'll take that one. It's hard to pass up that 35%. There's some fire rate. More damage. But yeah, like as far as tearing down the swarm, the warthog is really doing the work, I think. Or a lot of the work for us. We'll see at the end what this what the final stat page says as far as damage goes. Reload. Damn, I'm not getting it. Um, XP when you take damage. Now we'll just do this. Keep the mining speed. Wow. Ooh. And if you're still here at this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't liked the video, it helps a ton with the algorithm. It really does. One of the best ways to support the, the content on my channel for free. We'll keep on reloading. What the heck is the reload on this thing now? 1.26. I'd love to see that get down below 1. Sure, we'll take the crit chance. The PGL at least kind of like shoots work. Like it's it's not it's not bad, I guess, as a support weapon. Because it does have that explosive damage, right? Kind of like a splash. Uh, pick up radius. Level 41. Okay. Stage three completed. Taking you to stage four. Did good work, miner. 22 on our gun. Ooh, projectile damage. I think we take. This stuff of More fire rate. Beautiful. I'm to try this out. And we're gonna hold the gold here. You know the drill, miner. Fulfill your objectives. Let's go. So this hasn't felt nearly as bad as the wave cooker. I know my video yesterday with the wave cooker was on Hazard 4, but I, I also did a follow-up run on my live stream with the wave cooker on Hazard 3, and it was pretty bad. Um, yeah, it, it was it struggled. Hello. So for anybody that doesn't haven't seen this, this is a very rare loot bug. It just occasionally pops up. Look at this beauty. And it has gold and more experience in it. It has like a big chunk of experience. I, that's only the third time I've ever seen that loot bug. And I've played around 100 hours, I think now. I'm at about 100 hours in, in game. And I've seen that loot bug three times. Pretty rare. I think I need more clip size on this gun. Uh, more pickup radius. But is it is it doing well? I think it's maybe doing okay.
I'm a, I'm a kinetic damage guy. I, I, I'm telling you, it's it's just so nice. Reload speed. We got that below one yet? Close. We're getting there. I'm still not firing as many bullets like as quickly as I want. Um, reload speed damage. You know what? Fine, we'll take the reload speed. What the heck? All right. Well, we're gonna go for that. Did go and try and do some more mining, but it's hard because there's so much dying here. This is way better than the wave cooker. Like this run, anyway. Um. Significantly better. What if I just keep on leaning in on this reload? We below one second yet? Ooh, very close. Move speed. But they, now we're get, kind of getting overrun. Give us that fire rate, please. Nice. We are taking this. And I feel like this is one of the few weapons that it actually can really work well for you. Like, really, really, really well on. <laughs> Let's see. I could be wrong, but I feel like it could be great. Yep. Look at it go now. Oh, yeah. So we fire, and then the reload. We got the reload good, so we're, we're basically right away firing again. That's at 18. Get that XP game. Hey, this has been this has been good. Did, did I, I? I don't think it's a. Don't get me wrong. I don't think this is a weapon that I would be saying is a hazard five type weapon for a main. But it definitely you can lean in on it. And, and have fun with it on this difficulty. That just hit me. Oh, jeez. You can definitely lean in on it and have a little bit of fun with this weapon. Kinetic damage. This is not going to be a hard... This isn't going to be a hard win. I, I, I maybe could have tried it on Hazard 4. We're going to go reload speed for sure. This one. Um, No to the pickup radius. Nothing for me here. Let's or try fire again. rate. This. Or fire rate. This is perfect for my build. We might as well spend the gold, right? This makes my gun roll the dice on this one. And that's that, pretty much. Oh, one more. Nothing for me yeah. here. Let's try there we go. Again. All right. I think this is this is um not going to be too bad. We have nitrogenic powder. That's. I know I keep on checking, but look at that. Re look at those stats. Twenty four on the fire rate and reload time is below one. Are we going to be destroying things? Or is the shotgun just that much better than everything else? Oh, it is really unleashing those bullets. I'm having a really good time doing runs with these weapons that I've otherwise avoided. On my uh, save file before it got wiped, I ha this is how much I really didn't like this weapon and thought it was bad. After 70 hours of gameplay, I still hadn't unlocked the overclocks for this weapon. 
That's just how bad I thought it was. And I would say that my opinions changed a bit. I do think maybe that the shotgun is just that strong. It might be, all this might be doing is validating just how strong the Warthog is without any upgrades on it. Like direct upgrades. A level three Warthog. And it just cooks everything. All of those 140s, is that our gun? <laughs> is that is that us? I rarely pick one of these. I actually will take the nitrogenic powder now if it comes up. No, that's the turret hitting for 150s. Oh, sure. What the heck? It's not going to hurt us. This is this has gone very smoothly. Because it, the weapon, the weapons we have actually do really good crowd control. We've got like four kind of like crowd control weapons. Never really thought of it that way. But there's almost no swarm at all. And this will be make it easier for us to tell too what really was doing damage, because um, the stat sheet doesn't take into account properly uh, status effect damage. Oh, so we might as well just go in this. I'm pretty confident that we can just walk over here and pretty much wipe them out. There was a magnet there? Get the move speed. I mean, we didn't wipe them out right away. damage. Level 27? So it's hitting for 206? No, that's not it. I can't even tell what one's doing what. Is it hitting for 700s? The 150s. Or is it the one hitting for 1700s? What the heck? Well, it's dead. I couldn't tell what, what it was doing. And this was better than I expected. Still, I don't think it's a high-level weapon, but not bad. All right, let's see the stat sheet. Did we manage to get the DPS up to a respectable number? Yes, we did. Okay. Okay. You do... You. I really think that the, the thing that turned it, though, was taking the... Um, oh, geez. What the, I, don't, I can't remember what the heck it's called. The uh, fire rate artifact. I think taking that made a big change in the way that that gun functioned for us. That was a fun run and uh, really easy, actually. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.